What is up guys, Benoob again and we're going to be doing another Archblade character review and today we have Val. Ready. Now remember Start. this review is a small tutorial to help you get up on your feet and give you a little tip and trick so you can get better at the character, it is not a guide for experts. <laughs> Val Estrada Draco Emperor. Now I'm sure I butchered the name again, but it is a great granddaughter of the Ready. Dragon Emperor of Not. Madness, Zath, and they and they plotted treason against the king, and a lot of things happened, and eventually she ended up believing in an indigenous dragon religion called. You know what, I'm not even going to say the name this time, this is extremely hard to pronounce and I don't want to kill it again and again. So the entire law of this will be in the description. So basically she was actually one of the commanders who led the battle against the Empress of Darkness. Now besides that, let's get into her as a character. Now she is a all round champion, she is a short range fighter she really doesn't have any long-range skills so let's get back into what the character looks like now she has a floating bunch of diamonds on her left shoulder pad which acts as her shield whenever you press the E button it is probably as as looks concerned it's probably one of the most effective shields I can say because all the other ones are basically them crawling down or putting a sword in front of them which shouldn't actually help like it shouldn't physically help blocking attacks. So that, with that out of the way, let's get down to damage. She is a defensive style. She's more of a support class than any other thing, but she doesn't have a lot of damage. She has a very high defense. And even though she doesn't have a lot of attack, she has some great combinations you can pull off to make for a very interesting style of play. Now, first off, the left mouse button releases a combo which she smashes with her gigantic hammer. And you can go ahead and blast away and it'll do a lot of damage. It won't do as much as a combination if you pull off with someone like Elrath. But it's still great or it's still su it'll, it'll suffice. What she can do is annoy the hell out of you because she has a move that she can jump in air and just press, press the right mouse button. If you do turn it into a power attack by holding alter, there is no way for you to block that. So even if you do have E and you have the defense up, there, you're going to be in a lot of trouble because it's going to be a small stun. It's a really, really mild stun uh, that she goes up, yells lightning and just smashes the hell out of the ground. And she can continue doing that because it doesn't take any SP. It's not a special attack of any sort. So that's really cool. And again, she has the right mouse button does another diff different attack. Now, it's n she has no long range moves whatsoever. So what this does is she spins around with the hammer doing a really interesting area of effect. So the right mouse button, what it does is it turns it into the hammer is spun around like a tornado smashing everything around it. It could be used consecutively three times. Now this could drive a lot of people insane. I've actually just killed people just using this. If you can move your mouse around and circle the target around him and not let him get away, there is a really good chance you can finish him off just using this. She, her knock-up attack is fairly simple. You smash the left click and the right click in concession. So if you hold down the shift key, she can run fast. Now that could be used for two things, whether you're trying to get into battle, kill someone who's trying to get away, or whether you want to hightail it out of there. Now it's not really something bad, but it depends on how you use it. While she's running, she has the ability to right click, which launches her into a devastating charge, which breaks shields, and that is really great. So you might want to check that out. You might want to see how you can place this and how, what way you would consider fighting if you're using that. It's all cool. I would recommend using this as a character for short maps which could eventually be played against a lot of people because you're not going to be going necessarily into one-on-one -on -one combat using Val. I mean, you could, but it would be more effective if you were fighting a group of people, even though that might be hard. If you can pull off Val properly, you shouldn't have a problem and you d and even if they do have long range weapons and they're trying to get away you can always run after them and just tackle them down so her two special attacks one is f and the other one is q the smaller one what it does is it's a support class attack it casts an aura around a certain area around a small radius actually it's not really a small radius but it heals your hp and your allies hp so which is really really useful and your people are going to be using that all the time 
And there is also another attack that the final one when she has the RP at max she can launch a shield which will protect her for a very long time now this and the fact that she has very good defense adds up to a perfect tank class if you can pull off a tank that's great if you can't that's still okay she can be used as an attacking class but she's more on the lines of a support class some sort of uh, character you'd be taking into something like Netherdale where you want to help your teammates capture all the points so with that done that I'm gonna wrap it up for today guys so that is Val the I think that's the longest name we have in this game so if you guys want to see the full lore of the character it's in the description below and I just hope you guys enjoyed it and hope you guys learned something about it if you did know this stuff don't worry don't get all pissed because it's a guide for beginners for people who don't know how to play the game and who need a little idea on how you should or could possibly play with these characters so i hope you guys enjoyed this and see you guys next time have a great day don't forget to hit that like button leave a comment tell me how you guys play with val and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and you want to stick around for more peace out guys have a great day